Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to online classes of the first by secondary schools and colleges. Our project of the education system. Dear brothers, in the last video lecture yesterday, we discussed about progressive and non-progressive verbs and before that, I explained you about action and stative verbs. As you know that we are going through the recapitulation of tenses once again, so as to help you remember the functions and the format and the structure of tenses. As I have already told you that tenses are integral part of grammar and without understanding tenses, it is pretty difficult for you to understand the remaining topics of grammar. Today in this video lecture, I will give you a review of tenses, which means the functions of the tenses, how and why we use these tenses in our daily communication. This is video part one today and inshallah I will upload part two tomorrow. Let's start the functions of each tense separately. First of all, you have the definition and the functions of present simple before you. There are multiple uses of present simple in our daily communication, but here we are going through four common uses of present simple. Use number one. We use present simple for permanent situations. In simple words, the situations that have been going on and will further go on as they are. Something that happened yesterday, it is happening today and probably it will happen tomorrow. Such actions are called permanent actions or permanent situations. Example is given before you, she works in an office. It means that she worked in that office yesterday, she is working in that office today and she will probably work in that office tomorrow too. The second use of present simple is, we use it for repeated actions in the present. Any action that is repeatedly done or we often do that action is called repeated action. For example, he often goes to the cinema. It means whenever he has time, he repeats this action of going to cinema. So any action that we repeat, either we that did that yesterday, we are doing it today, or we will do it tomorrow, we use present simple for that repeated action. And we use such actions often with the adverbs of frequency, which are always, sometimes, often, rarely, never, so on and so forth. Use number three for facts which are permanently true or in simple words for universal truth. The truth which is universally same, it always remains the same, it doesn't change. For example, the sun sets in the west. You know it well that sun always sets in the west. The sun can never set in the east, in the north or in the south. So this is a universal truth. For such facts and truth, we use present simple. Use number four. For timetables and programs, you make all them events and schedules too. So any action that is scheduled or which is in the timetable or which is a part of a program, be that it happens in the future, but we use rhythm simple for such actions. For example, the train leaves at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Although this sentence or action belongs to future, we still use present simple for this because this action of trains leaving tomorrow at 7 in the morning is actually a part of a timetable. When you know that trains leaving at 7 o'clock is actually a part of a schedule or a timetable that happens every day, now, if you are telling it separately as a part of future or as an action of future, you will still use present simple for that. The next tense is present continuous or present progressive. The first use of present continuous is for temporary situations. 
you remember i recently told you for permanent situations we use present simple and for temporary situations we use present continuous or present progressive what do we mean by temporary situations any situation or action that is going on for temporary time and you know that it has to change or it will change after some time because this is not this it's not permanent when i say i live in karachi i mean to explain you or the listener that this is my permanent situation but when i say i'm living in lahore now it's it means that i don't live in lahore this living in lahore is only for a specific time period or for temporary time period for example he is staying with friends at the moment it means he doesn't always stay with friends but for temporary time he is staying with friends so for any action that is permanent for any situation that is permanent we use present simple and for any action or situation that is temporary we use present continuous number 2 we also use present continuous for actions at or around the time of speaking for example he is looking for a new job at the moment it means that when i am delivering the sentence he is still in search of a job probably not at the moment but nowadays if i say that i am talking to you i am explaining you tenses or you are sitting you are listening to me you are watching this video lecture all these actions are the actions that are going on at the time of speaking when i am speaking these sentences this is also happening when i am speaking it i am speaking and i am giving you explanation at the time of speaking you are watching this video lecture so on and so forth use number 3 for fixed arrangements in the future what do we mean by fixed arrangements in the future we usually use future simple for future actions this is what you know but when i have done all the arrangements for any future action for instance this is 11th of september today and you people are going to attend school from coming 15th of september i have done or the school management has done all the arrangements for 15th september classes you have done your arrangement you have made up your mind you have taken out your books for metric class or for ninth class you have uh, set up your bags you have taken out your uniform and everything so you people have mentally prepared yourselves you have done some arrangement so has the management of utra done some arrangements the teachers have done some arrangement for 15 september classes etc so we have done all the arrangements for a future action now we won't say that we will take class on 15 september now we will say we are taking classes from 15 september same as if i say i am going to dubai next week what does it mean i am going to dubai next week i am not saying i will go to dubai next week when i say i will go to dubai next week this is only a wish for future this is my wish or desire or my prediction for future so when i am saying i am going to dubai next week it means that i have done all the arrangements i have got my visa my passport is ready i have made up my mind i have done a couple of preparation for going to dubai in this situation i will use present continuous tense for for such future action which i have done arrangements for my dear brothers i hope you have been able to understand these four tenses and their functions we already have discussed the format and the structure in tenses there are only two things remember how to use and when or why to use how to use we discussed in the initial lectures where i told you this is the formula or this is the structure of all these tenses individually for example present simple we use first form of verb and we use do or does as auxiliary verbs for present continuous we use is mr as auxiliary verbs and we use fourth form of verb we use subject first then is mr 
and then fourth form and then object. This is the structure of the formula of how to make a present continuous sentence. So this is what I have told you how to make or how to use these tenses and today in this video lecture and in the next uh, upcoming videos I am going to tell you why to use or when to use these tenses. So today we have discussed about present simple, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. So today we have discussed about present simple and present continuous. In the next video lectures we will discuss about the remaining tenses inshallah. Till then take very good care of yourselves. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.